I'm your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki, and I'm reaching you from the Farm Fellowship. I have been talking about social intelligence, and I will dwell more on women. I want to look at Rahab, the harlot in the wall of Jericho. Rahab the harlot is the great-grandmother of Boaz. She married Salmon. Salmon was a contemporary of Joshua. So, some people believe that he was one of the warriors that entered Jericho and stayed in the house of Rahab. But even if he was not, and he was one of the contemporaries of Rahab, Rahab was a good negotiator. For you to negotiate well, you must have social intelligence. One of the rules I learned recently about negotiations and social intelligence is that never offer the first prize. Always allow the person you are negotiating with to offer this first prize so that you will not undercut yourself or overprice yourself. I also learned recently about negotiations that everything is negotiable. The third thing I learned about negotiation is that never accept the first offer. There's always a second offer. So these are strategies of life in relating with people. But let's come to Rehab. Rehab was able to manage his father, I mean her father, mother, brothers, and members of her family for seven days within the confine of her home as a harlot when Jericho was to be conquered. Number two, she was smart enough to know when the man that went to the palace left her restaurant or her beer parlor to go and meet the king and report that they were strangers. She knew the history of the conquest of the children of Israel right from Egypt to that point. She also knew that the hearts of the individuals in the city of Jericho had already melted. She also knew how to negotiate. When you come back, please spare my family and I. And she specified. She was a smart lady. She knew how to direct the spies away so that they would not come in contact with those who came from the palace to look for them. Rehab was kept outside the camp when the walls of Jericho collapsed and she was liberated by Joshua and those who conquered Jericho. How did she manage to come and marry Salman? From outside the camp to inside the camp. She must have rebranded, repackaged herself, changed her language, changed her attitude, changed her dressing to fit the Jewish standard, the standard of the children of Israel and to blend and marry into them, just like Boaz married Ruth from another tribe. You see, there's too much antagonism by people who don't understand social intelligence. Let me say one thing about the Fulani headsmen and the Fulani leadership in Nigeria. In the 21st century, you cannot practice cattle heading the way your forefathers did. You cannot tell somebody that you own all the land in Nigeria. You cannot kill people and expect them to live happily with you. You, in leadership as the president, you cannot be a Fulani man and think that you will surround yourself only by your tribesmen and then you must preferentially treat your tribes people. You need to be socially intelligent to understand the complexity of Nigeria and how to harmonize Nigeria and live in peace. The same thing Donald Trump had. Donald Trump should have known how to discuss with people, bring more people into the cabinet. Um, this black man that is a neurosurgeon, Ben, ben, ben Kaysen, hardly ever appeared with Donald Trump in any photograph, apart from once or twice. He just negated him. And so black people, a great percentage of them mobilized and voted for Biden. I saw Biden hugging a black lady. I saw him phoning in Nigeria. That's social intelligence. 
You must know how to blend into people, interact with people of different races, different tribes, in different circumstances to get your set objective and to fulfill your purpose in life. When you are only still comfortable with local people, your tribesmen, a few people around your vicinity, you will remain small. The world is a global street. Know how to blend. I'm your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. God bless you.